if you look with Goro Koro or you hear me why why now you say you turn that giddy bar on top of the chairman television station Wazobia Max TV and this now Coco of the matter I shall say people go talk say ah, this one when I start with strong voice like this until I sing this song for now before we understand hippie ya ya hippie hippie ya ya hippie ya ya hippie hippie ya ya Hepe ya ya, hepe ya ya, hepe ya ya, hepe hepe ya ya. I remember when I was a soldier. Oh, even though that lesson for command, that I might go. Every time when I hear this song, the thing they make my heart, they do mukulu muke. If you check your calendar, you go see, say, today will be Tuesday, oh. Tomorrow, na important day for the calendar of Nigeria celebration, the Armed Forces Remembrance Day. Now that day, all of us go salute, celebrate all these great men and women. When we say, then they do to see, say, our country they safe and secure. And most importantly, we don't pay the ultimate price with their life. And I go discuss with somebody when Sabi well, well, as if they consign matter of security and other development things inside of Bodo Nigeria. In name, now for me, or Koyemi Joseph, F O J. Welcome to Coco of the Matter. Thank you. Uh, uh, we don't just waste time. We could just go straight into our discussion. Every January 15th, Nigeria, they always they celebrate the Armed Forces Remembrance Day, or what they call Remembrance Day. That celebration that to celebrate all our soldier people there. And indeed, everybody will be say they're concerned about security for this country. To see, say, Nigeria, they safe and secure. If you survey the history of Nigeria, you can remember, say, between 1967 and 1970, it gets civil war when we happen inside the border of Nigeria. The sacrifice when plenty of people make that time, now it makes this country they together, united as one. We must continue to do everything we do to see, say, our country, it continue to day together as one. Because now only when we do together, development fee day. But we will discuss some very important issues. Because on the day when person they celebrate in birthday, they know they ask him about a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Now him, when the matter consigned, then they will talk about, we'll talk about security inside Nigeria. And our soldier people them, and all the things when we say it go there important, make them do for them, make their life better. Once again, for Lani of Miami Joseph, welcome to Coco of the Matter. Thank you so much. Me could not waste time, could just go straight. I go start with this question when we say, anybody will hear now, he know say the answer we must come out, na serious answer. And make we talk about this date when we say we the always the celebrate inside our country. January 15th. I won't ask you. Plenty people don't come at home talk say for Nigeria. It be like saying that only that date or only on the days where they celebrate, now we they celebrate. After that day, we will go back to square one. I won't ask you. What will be your own understanding of January 15th celebration? You think say that celebration when we say we suppose they pop champagne and we suppose fire handkerchief begin to cry because you know they do the right things. Yeah. First thing first, um we salute our soldier people there. Soldier people with the fight to mm -hmm. protect Nigerian unity and when the January 25th is in commemoration of the our fallen heroes mm -hmm. where who let it for battlefield mm -hmm. where they don't lose their life. So they used this day was set aside just to, to celebrate, celebrate them. them yeah to their exploits for their effort towards keeping this country together mm -hmm. until this present moment. Yeah, as it talks say yeah fact we suppose they, this um it should not be a daily um an annual event say make with a Remember our heroes, where they give their all and they get little or nothing back from the country in terms of, okay, for their family, after they lose their life, they know they get their entertainment on time. And with several stories, story even come day again. So uh, going forward, we, we need to uh, imbibe this culture of um, overwhelming support of our soldiers. We see their life. People, we see their battlefield now. Make we they support them, make we know they cascade them. Abuse them for social media, for media. We could see they encourage them, make they continue to give their bed because mm -hmm. that is that, that this is what they love doing. If they are ready to pay supreme price mm -hmm. just to keep Nigeria safe uh, against any um, external aggression. aggression or or yeah. Mm. Okay, so it's very very important that we establish say on Armed Forces Remembrance Day, make it day the mind of every Nigerian. Say our soldier people them. And indeed, all the people when they do security for this country, they, they do better work, and we must appreciate them for everything that they do. But we can't discuss the major issues. Now, the reason why plenty of people they talk about insecurity inside of Nigeria, and in fact, when person do list of the things where they cause insecurity for this Nigeria, the one when they on top, pata pata, uh, got to do with Boko Haram, Chaguda badness. Since 2009, 
This year, we will enter now. Go make them the 11th year when they say we they fight Boko Haram Jaguda badness. Make I just ask you, you know, how in your assessment we don't take handle this particular matter? And most importantly, as we don't enter another phase for this particular arrangement, so how we go take free and sure say we will fight this fight and we win the fight? Oh, first of all, um, when this matter starts, Tan and I, um, when they lock her up, mm. when he was killed for Baras. During a uh, Alimoju Sheriff, mm -hmm. when he be governor of uh, Bonu State, from there, this group started gaining momentum. Mm -hmm. They build, they expand with foreign collaborators. Come on, join body with them. Come make them. Come they strong. Come they strategic in their operation. So, I mean, for me, we didn't we didn't address the issue timely when the issue they start. But now, when they don't turn monster now, we can they seek for help from everyone from foreign and. Um, our neighbors with the West Africa, so they may they even assist us. But, but going forward now, 11 years gone now, we don't lose several lives, several families have been displaced, several, um, and the cheap boy girls uh, we never even secure their release finished from, from the den of the Boko Haram. So all in all, we need, we need, we need a, a, a new mindset um, from the government. We need a different attitude. We need to approach this world. We need to confront it. In a different mode, all this was cherry picking. Say okay, mm, casting as passion. Say um, play the blame game. Yeah, that say they talk, no, no, no. Now we need to confront this headlong. We need to because in terms of uh, monetary cost, we don't lose so much, and we can it's, it's not even healthy for us to even build. Um, we should channel this energy towards um, how do I put that? Expanding our economy, create more jobs for the team in youth. Not. Spending so much money onto this world. It's, so it's high time now we need to confront it. Let's change our, let's fight on our strategy. Let's collaborate. Let's ensure, let's motivate our troops with the um, field. May they give their best going forward. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can't talk about those people when they say they're for battlefield and they give their best because whether we like them or not, now these people will be the most important people for our arrangement. And okay. uh, so people don't complain about welfare. And to be fair to the government of President Mohamed Bouhari, uh, if in the past, for examples, when we say we don't see, we they see, say, uh, our soldier people them, uh, then go do what in Oibo, or by their own explanation, they say a tactical retreat to come back. Uh, we go here, say, some of our soldier people them, then, then go for inside Cameroon. Uh, we go here, say, our soldier people them, when we say they collaborate with soldier people them from different other countries, it be like, say, understanding not really today. But under the government of President Mohamed Bouhari, we don't see, say, okay, oh, you know, the weapons, when they need, they do. Uh, the kind of when we say, Boko Haram, Jaguda, badness, been they affect our soldier people them before. Even though we see they get some kind of examples, but it not be like, you know, when they take the day before. You know, they, they take over uh, communities, they push these people, they go back, they try to see what they will do. Look, we talk about their welfare. Uh, because especially when we say they do important work, when you know, take care of, the person not go give him best. How we go take free and sure, say, uh, our soldier people then went there the war front. They don't go first day there, they think, say, ah, what about my wife? What about my children? They don't pay school fees. How will we go take survive? What did they happen? How the confidence go take day? What will we need to do for their welfare to give them all the morale when they need? Yeah, first of all, the leadership of the military also needs to be more, to show more honesty in dealings with this um, welfare benefit for this, uh, our soldiers. With the battlefield, mm -hmm. also they are where, where benefits should be um, gotten timely. Maybe we say delay, delay, delay. Uh, these are issues where we feel make someone lose motivation. Mm -hmm. Where could they feel where you say ah, this will never pay me. So make I go go die, confront book out. Ah, make I run away. We have we always hear a story of retreat because motivation all day say oh more ah, they think one time say ah, it, this thing what time like this make I go die, make my family come they suffer. So um. Attitudinal change on the part of the military chiefs also to ensure that, okay, money alloc allocated to the defense mini um, ministry is channeled towards the right purpose, not diverting it to personal use going forward. So maybe they just they use that for the right purpose. Right purpose, yeah. And make it all be like, say, eh, but somehow it'll be like, say, eh, if we check soldier go, soldier come, it's very, very clear, say, at least, especially when we said the army 10 years ago, if you never reach the time making you retire, or you never reach the age when we say you come up for army, uh, the person still there inside the army reach today. That's if the person never, you know, maybe something happened to them for battlefield, the person can't go. It'll be like say somehow, somehow, strategy they're very, very different. 
He get any way when we say we go fit do we go fit put things down when we say even if another government come for 2023, another one come for 2027, another one come for 2031, we go get situation where we say this good when we start today we will continue to do it because if I talk say under President Mondwari at least if we check the weapons when we say our social people that they use we don't see different things how will we go take fear and say the thing go they permanent inside of Udo Nigeria. Yeah, it's still brother to leadership. So when we get this um, credible leadership, we feel um, carry on with the um, uh, how do I put it now with the structure within in place also to even improve on it also to fine tune it to make it better in terms of okay auditing, um, in terms of auditing, um, getting the, um, the identity of this and truth with the on battlefield, mm -hmm. ensuring that okay they are money. Get to them timely, get, and again, award them when we secure uh, major victory mm -hmm. for battlefield. So this one will even sp uh, spur motivation, yeah, ignite passion. Say, okay, come on, this is what it's. Say, ah, my family is are you enjoying? They got some alert, sort of like that. So we just need consistency, uh, consistency going forward in terms of process, in, in terms of um, handling uh, welfare issues mm. with for uh, for this uh, army, our military. Forces with the battlefield also make, make they, let them feel a sense of belonging that okay fine ah Nigeria is what dying for the sense of patriotism also to ensure that okay ah national interest is protected at all times. Mm. Hmm. Uh, it go good make everybody when they listen now uh, get out for the back of their mind say the fight against uh, terrorism insurgency banditry and in fact everything what they do to see say security gathered inside this country now everybody business. And not be say government or this party or that party. Now all of us, because when die come, uh, die not they ask who you vote for. You know they ask which party you belong to before the thing come. And insecurity, if there no check up, the thing they cause confusion because it go cause instability. We go affect the economy. It go displace people. People will be say even be landlord go come turn to uh, refugees inside their fatherland. And what we go do now now to take this level from the level of say from our community? How we go take free and sure say we they secure? Uh, people they always they talk and say uh, I won't mind my business. I don't want to talk. Oh, I don't want to put my my mouth inside the uh, the talk when we say person they talk. I don't want to make it be like say uh, what you not consign me. Now my choke mouth on top. How we go take fit? Begin begin the maybe not through what you would they teach for schools. They make people they know say security is a very very important issue, and they go they carry security matter for head. Make it not just be like say ah if I go report na be I go I go be or then go say I be bay filler or they go say na tafia na ima de tafia. How go take fear and say for community wherever they live. Me when they number thirty seven for example, I go they look say okay ah somebody don't enter number thirty six so I don't know this person before the person I go inform and all of those like that. How go they feel reach that level? Yeah, when you start from the basis, from the second um, primary school, secondary school, let's into, into uh, civic uh, education. What be a particular module to be set aside for maybe security? Uh, at least people should know one or two things about security. Okay, being your uh, brother's keeper, um, always be at alert, be vigilant. All this would go a long way. So you grow up with that consciousness mm -hmm. as you grow up also, and so you even get to. Um, Educate your peers also. Say, okay, ah, okay. When going out, um, ensure your doors are locked. Also, be, uh, be watchful, be mindful of your neighbors um, surrounding. Also, if everything is all right, okay. And also, just having that sense of uh, vigilance. Yeah, that's the watchword going mm. forward. Oh, okay, that sense of vigilance because uh, your neighbor business don't turn to your business. What we go do now? Not to carry worker enter inside this small break. When we go this break, come back. We'll continue our discussion as it take concern this special episode of Coco of the Matter and Forces Remembrance Day. Where will they cut cap? Give our soldier people there uh, for all the good they don't do for us for this country. Don't go anywhere when they come back. Now, still Coco of the Matter. Welcome back to Coco of the Matter on top of the Chama Television Station, Wazobi Max TV. And this is not that special episode, because if you check your calendar, tomorrow, January 15th, that day when we say, inside this full country, 
we they celebrate the Armed Forces Remembrance Day. To cut cap, give our soldier people there for all the things what they don't do for us inside our Ogonga uh, country. Before we go that break, uh, my Ogonga visitor, Folari Opoemi Joseph, FOJ, we've been there talk about how we take and say security cadres for this country. And most importantly, our soldier people there, then take very good care of them and give them all the things when they need to see them do their work well. Make I come back now. Uh, FOJ, moving forward. How we go take fit to say this armed forces remember how they only celebrate for 2020 go different from the ones who don't celebrate before? Because if since the return to democratic rule for 1999, every January 15th we they celebrate armed forces remembrance day, armed forces remembrance day, armed forces remembrance day, and yet we see the deal within security matter. Our security people them some they complain say uh, the the things where they supposed to collect after they work finish they know they collect them. The ones where they work don't even they collect them. The things where they need they know they really they see and like that. I will go take the ensure say starting from this year old it go there different and you know go just be until January fifteenth before we celebrate our security people them. Yeah, still boys also attitude of of, our, of the leaders also mm. right from the military chiefs also attitude the way they do they treat the troops also in terms of prompt payment of um, salaries. Re remuneration and also their allowance, spring benefit, what have you, it should be paid timely. Mm. And then we can know the, and the, this uh, culture of diverting funds for this purpose should not be channeled to personal use. Mm. Also. So, um, an attitudinal change on ways we do things, we need a different uh, attitude going forward for mm. the media. So, that will spur the passion and ignite. Um, the um, ignite the troops to give their best. Give their best. Yeah. Because when they talk about our soldier people, them uh, this special day, and we know say they are work that we see say and Nigeria day together as one, and people no come from outside comes for this country. I go like to talk about you know the various states we make up Nigeria. Right. Thirty six states are the federal capital territory. I make up Nigeria, and these thirty six states get thirty six states governors. Mm -hmm. These governors then they receive security votes. We then see the manifestation of insecurity for different parts of this country. I won't ask. How we go take fee and sure say uh, working together collaboratively, these governors them, these security votes when they collect, then go use them well. But before you answer that question, make I ask you. Uh, security votes, you sure say uh, really, really that money that they used to do what they supposed to use and do. Um as of now, first of all, you and I know say this security vote, no day I can tell for. Mm. They just we not be calculated. Yeah, we know we don't even know the actual amount in paper. Say okay, public document will go show us say so so governor they receive so so amount every month, every year, sort of like that. So um this will give room for the governor to abuse this money. Because if you say they know they are accountable to anybody. So most of them they always divert time to their personal use. So leaving little or nothing less for the for the um, security agency to we work with, that. yeah, we need that to even um, assist in coordinating activities for patrolling, for moving around. And it was sometimes I would hear police story to say, for no even they come to their office to op to operate, to move around. So that's why they always charge people where they catch mm. for road, saying that this kind of money they use run the station facilities, mm. they use on buy fuel by a generator to run their offices. So all these issues, right? so the, the governor needs to demonstrate a sense of responsibility going forward now. If they really want to open up their state for investment, okay, the issue of security needs to be taken seriously. And um, security needs um, funds. And um, because this um, security agency need money also to, uh, to get motivated to work well. And also the structure of our security apparatus also, we don't even give these governors much power to even um, um, coordinate command, to be in full control of the mm. security architecture they in their state. They just chief security, security officer. officer. In name, in word, but in, 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 action. in action, they know. Because most of them, this uh, commission of police, GOC, they receive order from the Abuja, IGP. IGP, and the chief of army staff, what have you. So, so a, lo a lot of things is still wrong with our constitution. So, so we still need to... Maybe fine tune our um, constitution, maybe amend it. Um, but now people don't say, don't be amendment with the way forward. Cool. Let's restructure the whole system mm. entirely. Not this one where we want to say the um, amending here and there. So let's see that. Let's restructure the whole um, structure, mm. the ways of doing things. That, maybe that will improve governance and that will improve um, security in the country. Inside the country. For those when they watch our screen, uh, we they show a video of how our army people, them, you know, they take, they do their work around Nigeria. And uh, he get waiting when I go notice. When I go notice, say, uh, he just be like, say, 
you know, some places when I go see, say, if they empty, nobody dead there, people don't run, come out, some when I go see, like, building when don't destroy, that's not because of, say, where confusion happen based on fight, don't know anybody. based on conflict, based on war, bullets when they fly, kick, 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 kick. No, in order to sabi anybody, yo, <laughs> everybody go run. <laughs> and some people go leave their property, even those when be landlord, feel they even they live inside the uh, IGP camp. So now why when we talk, say, we need peace for this country. Make all of us, they talk, say, peace. Make peace no far from our mouth, number one. Number two, make we as Nigerians, they support government for all the good work when government they do to you see, say, security day. How we go take support government? Now we say, we go to talk, say, hey, 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 no. If we see the one when no be as it be, together make all of us raise our voice. Talk, say, government, do well. If government, they do well, make we encourage and say, make we now they do more. So that for this country, anywhere we perceive that if they sleep, you go sleep with two eyes closed. Only in Nigeria, you sleep. You hang cross if you be Christian. You hang tesbir if you be Muslim. You put anointing oil for your head if you be Christian. You spray holy water. Outside, you put burglary proof. You put two padlock. Una go lock gate. Una go put chain. Una go lock uh, street gate. Una go get dog. Una go get uh, vigilante. Some people go even they use juju just for this security. If Nigeria they safe, we don't go need all these things. I don't talk say all these things when people they believe in all they work. Oh, but go outside Obodo Nigeria. We don't say insecurity there, oh, but because of say through sense, through technology. In case some countries for this one, we say they are prison, don't even they don't they close up because people know they thief again. Nothing to encourage them to thief. Government don't invest in the people. In case some country where we say, I no one know who you be. If you thief before after, if you thief this morning. Eh? For money for their country. If you think for money before evening, they don't catch you. Where you won't run go. Because security, they catch out. Everything. So this country, make we ask people, make they talk with one voice. I verse, I verse, because I nearly join army. I nearly join army. Yeah, yeah. I didn't mean I join army. Now, now this kind of thing, now it's going to be the issue. More than not verse. I just talk this thing because they pay me. Even though I don't join army, I get friends when they army. I know some people when they watch us, Papa, they army, Mama, they army. Uncle. Not be just army, security, general. No, we'll give them all the tea when they need. More than no vet, but the tea just come as I say, I go less for command. The tea just enter my body this morning. It make me they provoke. Uh, after they talk this night, more than no vet. Uh, more will come, come back now because where we don't reach now, we don't they carry our load. They come out for here. Very important issue. And uh, when I go like, more we'll talk about. And I want, I want to treat you like prophets now. Make we see the future. Uh, in the next 10 years, as Nigeria did like this now, I would like to make you talk about those things when we say, if we do them, I don't want to talk about the problem. Those things when we say, if we do them, Nigeria go day where we want make Nigeria day, as it takes concise security. When we say, if people won't sleep, they feel open their window, then get confident and say, nobody, see, don't if not they hungry anybody, nobody could come. And even if person comes up, then go arrest the person. What if those things won't go do so that in the next 10 years, our security go they catch up for this country? Yeah, first of all, where are they look, like, look at? So we need to look at the factory where um, this um, insurgent they grow from. Hmm. Unemployment. Unemployment. Yeah, we need to we will address that issue. Hmm. It's very, very important. Because well, if you can block the channel where the uh, recruiting, they come. yeah. The so, ones where they say will begin the address them. them. them yeah. No new person. No new come. person. Come. Mm. So unemployment is very is an issue. Government need to improve on. Mm. Yeah, they do a bit, but it's not enough. Cause mm -hmm. yeah, the unemployment rate in the country now is is on the high side. So we need um, a different approach. We need something drastic, aggressive yeah, um, solution to address uh, unemployment in this country. Another issue where they look at also, and also we need to look at restructuring this country also. Yeah, so be, um, that will give much power to the states to be in control of their security. Because as it is now, there's um, the chaos in the policy they somehow, because over like 22 states now where military they in control, and military is supposed to know if it's not Constitution don't give them that power. Internal security. Yeah, is that for police? Um, the constitution gives the police, yeah, to maintain their uh, internal security. Except if the uh, the situation they overwhelm me, they can call military to come to their aid. So, a lot restructuring of the whole of the political system in this country. 
So, so, so much power they for center is high time we we'll devote power to the federating units also to, to make them more efficient also in terms of resources. You know, aside them security also resources, let them control resources at their disposal also. Hmm. So whereby that they will be able to pay the um, um, they'll pay the um, tax to the central. So as it is from there, maybe by the other states too, we have um, the financial uh, strength also to take them um, to address um, socioeconomic issues in their immediate environment also. So another thing we are they look at also, we need to embrace technology more also. So, mm. so technology mm. to confront this, we should, um, this um, um, reactive approach to issues, we should stop it now. So let's be proactive also. And also one issue we are the things we need to give um, attention to the database. So we need to know, we need to have, um, we need to take audit of um, citizens of this country, mm -hmm. their location, at least any new body coming to a state, coming to a local government should be able to, we should be able to provide them. So that way, like that, at least any new uh, foreigner entering our midst, at least citizen good, um, the government would dare at a lot, maybe place them some, um, place these people on a um, surveillance or maybe, maybe they have any, one agenda to come up, mm. to carry out within a community, within a particular state or location. So, responsibility, a deep sense of responsibility, we need to do things differently going forward this next 10 years. But I, I predict say the next 10 years, Boko Haram will be over. If, mm. you, if you adopt this model, mm. we are. Okay, for Larry, Okay, me, Joseph, don't talk him. Say, if we do the right things, uh, insecurity no go give us headache inside our great country, Nigeria. Uh, as we don't reach where we do, so now to carry Waka come out inside studio. And this is a special episode when we do uh, based on, say, tomorrow, now Armed Forces Remembrance Day, we they celebrate our security people there, especially our army people there, for all the good things when we say that they do. We they pray, because we had pray out, say, may God continue to protect them. And what is the most important now, say, all of you now will be their family. We appreciate you now, because it's not easy for you to say, uncle, sister, Auntie, brother, papa, mama, Peking, go and defend this country. Go, go bless you now for what you now do. I won't promise all our soldier people there when they're this country, whether you're there for a uh, front line or you're there house or you're there barracks, we'll continue to talk and hold the government responsible so that they go do everything we do to see, say, una work, go day easy. Una bye bye, our country people. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.